Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to my first toy review, um, which you can guess is going to be a Transformer review. Um, I'm really happy to start doing this. I received everything I said I needed to be able to start doing review. I uh, got my backdrop, got my better phone, got my stand, and I got my Holy Grail. Thanks to Lone Dragon. Um, I'm really happy that you um, were in the chat during the sit rep with Patriot Prime when he asked me what my grail was uh, and I said that it was this figure, Netflix Bumblebee and um, you reached out saying hey I have, a, uh, I have an extra one uh, transaction was done, I got this no problem um, mint uh, in sealed box so thank you so much um, about the character, uh, Bumblebee, first appearance in the G1 cartoon in um, 84, 85, I don't remember. Um, but uh, voiced by Dan Gilvezan, my first video. Um, so I think it's fitting that Bumblebee is my first uh, toy review. Uh, absolutely adore this figure. I mean, he's shiny, he's perfect. And I actually wish they would have used that yellow on Sunstreaker, which is my favorite character. Hell Sunstreaker. Um, I'm gonna get started. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. I really hope that you will leave me constructive criticism in the background, uh, in the, in the comments. See, it's already starting with the, you know, not scripted stuff. I'm, I'm messing up, but I'll keep going. Um, I really want, uh, your comments. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell and, um, we're gonna get started. But before we start, I uh, just want to shout out to Patriot Prime for all of his tips uh, and um, the most important one, clean your fingernails. Okay guys, before we get started, I just wanted to show you my backdrop uh, that I got from toyhacks.com. I never ordered before, but I will always find their stuff very interesting. I chose this backdrop because um, I haven't seen it in other reviews. All right, the box. Um, Compared to what we got from the other War for Cybertron line, I think this one's a little plain. I mean, it shows the bot. It shows the bot. Um, but it's, uh, it's a little plain. Sorry for the glare. I'm not a lighting expert yet. And I don't plan to become one. Accessory, we get this gun. Cannon... Uh, something thingy uh, which of course was used by Cliff Jumper uh, I don't believe that Bumblebee ever used anything like that um, I don't even recall if Bumblebee was in the jet ski scene where we can turn this gun into jet skis now if you want you can pull this out pull this out the way I'll use it on Bumblebee is I'll make those little guns with handguards it begs well you have to line that up really 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 even and even then all right um, so yeah I'll use those handguns uh, on bumblebee I think they fit a little better but then you're left with this thing and aside for the transformation where it this becomes the sliding part um, I actually plug it on this bot. This is Titan Returns or Power of the Primes Braun. I can't recall. Um, I think it gives him a kick-ass mace with, you know, his cover shield. Um, I like this little figure. It's, uh, I got it for 10 bucks, 10 Canadian bucks on eBay. Uh, doesn't stand very well though. I uh, got it for uh, from uh, China. And here is the man or the bot that is my holy grail, my white whale. I have looked for this figure, um, as I said, pretty much anywhere in Canada, and I was, uh, well, in my area anyway. Uh, we have about nine Walmarts, um, if, if my calculations are correct. And um, 
they were nowhere to be found. This guy was a complete ghost. So this is a great figure, the best we've ever got, um, officially licensed by Volkswagen. Um, I want to take a closer look. The face is extremely G1. It's it's amazing. Uh, you have his backpack, which I'll take off for now, um, which you can use as a shield but I probably won't do that. Um, articulation. The arms do a full 360. The head is on a ball, ball joint, uh, but because of those little side pegs here, um, it doesn't fully rotate, or it. I could force it, but I've, uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, the legs have, uh, a very big ankle rocker no well there is a kind of toe tilt due to transformation but it's not great for possibility uh, knees will do 90 the leg will do back and forth you can do a wonderful split and you know what I found doing those reviews is try when you start, it's trying not to use all the same terminologies that every awesome other YouTuber has been using. Uh, you have a reverse ab crunch if you want to do some matrix stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to glue that thing together. Uh, what else is there for articulation? Oh, the waist, yes. We'll do a full 360. Um, the elbows. We'll actually double elbows. So bumblebee, cliff jumper, bug bite, and hubcap. Yeah, hubcap uh, are double jointed. And the hand will rotate 360. So that's pretty articulated. And now for scale, you have Earthrise Optimus Prime, uh, Cliff Jumper, uh, which I think the cannon suits him, like, perfectly. And uh, this is my G1 Walmart reissue um, Bumblebee, um, which my girlfriend got me for Christmas one uh, before I started collecting uh, the current main line of War for Cybertron. Uh, that was my first bot in many years and it kind of you know rekindled all the love i had for transformers um on top of all the videos that inspired me to start uh, reviewing and collecting and become part of this awesome community all right and now for transformation um it's uh very very simple you'll see just Make sure the leg is straight. I like to start with the wheels. So you clip, unclip this, which pegs in the wheel. And then you flip this like that and you pull the wheel. And there you go. Bumblebee in vehicle mode. Extremely nice figure. Um, mine has a little gap thing here that's a little too wide, but. I guess I could tighten that up. Um, you don't see much of the robot. I mean, the arms, the legs, but you don't see the face. You don't see the. So I think, I mean, this could look like under a car. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, paint application are minimal. Uh, tail lights. You have this little soft plastic or maybe even rubber bumper uh, so when you push this part down it's, it's kind of scary um, the Autobot uh, logo uh, I do plan to add one on top uh, on the chest uh, because I just got my toy hacks um, yeah something else I ordered my toy hacks um, set for ratchet and lifeline so maybe I'll show that to you eventually because um, I haven't applied it yet um, headlights Again, a little less loose, rubbery 
plastic thingy. Um, I love this car. It's uh, it's perfect. Um, like I said, a little gappy on my copy, but I've seen other versions. Maybe I'm not pushing it in because honestly, these things here they hold that back um, really, really tight. Like I need a fork to pull that out. Um, so yeah, so there you go, Bumblebee in jet ski mode. Um, you know, pegs under here, uh, the cannons, the handle pegs on under at this point and you have the well what i call the uh, brawn mace um split open and shoved under if a kid plays with this then you know you'll lose the skis within 5.2 seconds and now for scale um bumblebee with cliff jumper um cliff jumper is a little longer uh, original uh, Walmart, re well, original, reissue Walmart uh, G1 Bumblebee. Uh, I still love this thing. It's awesome. And uh, Siege Starscream, because I always display him in uh, vehicle mode, because he's the only Tetra Jet I have, and I didn't want to transform Optimus right now. So there you go, Bumblebee in his final mode. I love this figure as is. Um, like I said, I'll put a... Autobot logo on the chest eventually. It's an awesome figure. Like, that was my white whale, the one I couldn't find. And it's the one I'll never get rid of. Actually, I'll never get rid of any of those. But um, this one is special. It was my first Transformer as a kid. Or actually, you know, this one was. This figure, um, I decided to review it first because it was my whale. And... Uh, Dan Gilvezan was my first voice actor spotlight. So if um, if you enjoyed this, let me know. I'm what I'm really looking right now for is constructive criticism. Uh, no hate, just let me know what I could do to improve this, and I'll see what I can do. Um, not rich, so uh, that that setup is. You have no idea how terrible this setup is uh, behind the the backdrop. Um, but if you did like this uh, this video let me know uh, hit like subscribe hit the bell and uh, leave a comment I actually really enjoy reading you guys and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care